the three flows that we talk about in supply chain, the cash flow, material flow, and the information flow, they are supposed to help businesses achieve their objectives. And in the supply chain world, we define firm objectives or business objectives in terms of competitive priorities. So, so there are four competitive priorities that are defined. One is cost, where a service provider decides to be a lowest cost service provider. Uh, quality, where uh, they decide to serve high-end customers and provide super high quality material. Flexibility, where, the, where a service provider may decide to offer um, many different types of services and be flexible to keep changing the type of services offered. Or uh, even delivery, where a service provider may choose to have low lead times and uh, have the ability to gauge what the customer wants and uh, ensure the product reaches the, the customer as fast as possible. And uh, with these uh, four uh, type of competitive priorities, there are two views um, in supply chain. The first is called the trade-off view, which suggests that the firm has to choose and prioritize and has a trade-off between these uh, competitive priorities. And the example here that is often cited is a uh, um, comparison between Walmart and Zara. So Walmart, um, as we all would probably know, that um, is primarily focuses on cost. Uh, the goods may not be very high quality. Um, the, they don't keep changing their seasons. They don't keep changing apparels and goods according to the type of seasons. But Walmart is known for its price. Okay. Very low cost and affordable product. At the other end, we have Zara, which sells apparels. But Zara is known to change its apparel within its store more than eight times a year. Yes, there are more than eight, or some people tell me 10 seasons a year. So, so what they, they are trying to do, they're trying to change, compete on the basis of flexibility, right? They're changing the kind of uh, products available to customers. Now, both these companies have very different supply chains. So for Walmart, because they're competing on cost, they have uh, um, a lot of procurement from uh, low cost Asian countries because they, they those countries produce goods in bulk and in cheap versus Zara does a lot of procurement um, from um, Eastern Europe where it's slightly more expensive but uh, Eastern Europe is close to all their European stores and their lead time goes down and because the East European manufacturers can produce on a lower batch size they have much more flexibility to keep changing their product, products according to the seasons and the demand that, that they see. So yeah, so the, the, the idea here is um, this example suggests that uh, firms have a trade-off and firms need to select a specific competitive priority which they need to excel at and then they need to design their supply chains, the flows that we talked about, to suit that competitive priority. There is an alternate view which is called the complementarity view. The complementarity view says that, uh, uses Toyota as an example, and says, well, firms do not choose and firms can achieve everything. Okay, this is also called the sand cone view, where they say that, for example, Toyota cars, they are cheaper, they're inexpensive, they're not very expensive, they are high quality. And Toyota keeps managing to introduce no new models and new variants faster than other um, suppliers or other auto manufacturers. And they are also literally quick on their delivery. So, so this example um, is cited to say that uh, firms actually do not choose their competitive priority, but can simultaneously excel at all competitive priorities and need to design their flows accordingly. So, the, the point of this video is um, to tell you about um, these four competitive priorities and uh, give you the two views, the trade-off view, which says, which is dominant, uh, which says that uh, businesses have to choose and supply chains have to, be have to be designed based on choices. And the Toyota view, which is the complementary, complementarity or sand cone model, which says, well, firms can achieve all different kinds of priorities simultaneously. Um, my view is Toyota is a special case. Um, in most cases, we have a trade-off. 
And uh, since Toyota is a special case, we will talk more about the special case in a chapter on lean manufacturing, which is primarily focused on Toyota supply chain by itself.